Hi there, welcome to today's episode, and I'm so excited you are here. If this is the first time we meet, my name is Catherine Chong, and I'm a founder of Pristine Fertility and a certified fertility dietitian. Now, my job here is to share with you the evidence-based nutrition information to help you to enhance your fertility success. So, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any our episode here. So today we are going to diving into a topic that is so essential to fertility, where we're going to talk about egg quality. And if you are actively trying to conceive, especially if you are over the age of thirty-five, I really want you to take a pause. Everything else you are doing right now, and really focusing on today's episode, where I'm going to share with you very, very important informations of how you can enhance your egg quality with some of the possible top fertility and egg quality supplement. And this information could make a meaningful difference in your fertility journey. So let's get started. Now we know that as women age, particularly after the age of thirty-five, egg quality. Quality can decline, which can make conceptions and a healthy pregnancy more challenging. But there are ways to give your body extra support, and in this video, we are going to dive into three top quality supplements that can help to enhance your egg quality, based on the most recent research. Where we're going to dive into the benefits of CoQ10, NAC, and melatonin, and I will also share how exactly they work in your body and who might benefit. From them, and what actually are the current science says about their effectiveness? As always, as a reminder, please do consult your fertility specialist or fertility dietitian like myself before starting any new supplement to ensure it is the right dose and is safe for you. So let's start by understanding what we mean by a quality. A quality essentially refers to the health and the viability of a vim chromosomal integrity. So high quality eggs means have the correct number of chromosomes, which is crucial for successful conception and a healthy pregnancy. But when the eggs have an abnormal number of chromosomes, which is also known as a condition called aneuploidy, it increases the risk of implantation failure, miscarriage, or genetic abnormality. And as we age, our eggs are more prone to chromosomal abnormality. This is why egg quality is such a key factor in fertility, especially if you are over the age of thirty-five. But age isn't the only factor. Don't forget conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis can also impact on your egg health and quality. And when combined with low ovarian reserve, which commonly also known as low AMH level, the chances of conceptions become even more challenging. While there's no guaranteed way to improve egg quality to date, research-backed supplements can provide us some information and can be helpful to help you. To maximize the chances and give your body the best chance when it comes to optimizing your egg health and quality. Now, next, let's talk about supplements and how might help. First, it's essential to understand that while supplements can provide the nutritional support, they are not the magic solution here. So instead, they work on the cellular level to protect your egg cells, enhance energy production. And reduce oxidative stress, which are literally the things that I always emphasize to all my private clients and our Mastering Egg Health program client. The three supplements we are discussing today, and I want you to just you know go into a little bit of understanding, a little bit of insight on how does it work. We're going to talk about CoQ10, NAC, and melatonin. So let's dive into number one, CoQ10. So CoQ10 or coenzyme Q10 is a natural occurring compound in every cells of your body. It's essential for energy production and it acts as it acts as a powerful antioxidant. CoQ10 primary role is in supporting mitochondria health. So what is mitochondria? The mitochondria often called the powerhouses of cell, provide the energy needed for cells function. And since eggs have especially high energy demands during ovulation and fertilization, healthy mitochondria are crucial for egg quality. Now, study have shown that CoQ10 supplementation can improve fertility outcome in women with ovarian aging. 
Now, for example, a meta analysis of 20 clinical trials with over 2,006 participants found that CoQ10 significantly increased the number of retrieved oocytes, it improved embryo quality, and even reduced the amount of ovarian stimulation medication required in IVF cycle. Now, these benefits were especially more pronounced in women under the age of 35 with diminished ovarian risk reserve, also known as low AMH level. But before you jump on buying CoQ10 supplement, I just want to remind you that consulting with a fertility dietitian like myself, it's essential to help you to source the different type of CoQ10, the best quality type of formulation, and to determine the right dose as well, as the dosing can be different based on each individual needs. Next, let's talk about NAC or n cysteine. Now, this supplement is known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and has been used in various health areas to reduce oxidative stress. NAC works by raising level of glutathione, which is a major antioxidant that protects cells, including egg cells, from oxidative damage. Now, research on NAC has shown it to be particularly beneficial for women with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and endometriosis. So one study with 120 endometriosis patients found that NAC supplementation led to an impressive 86.5% of pregnancy rate among those who wanted to conceive while also reducing the size and the number of endometrial cysts. Now, another study involving more than 200 women undergoing IVF found that NAC supplementations improved the egg quality and it also increased the number of high-quality blastocysts. So by enhancing antioxidant levels in the follicular fluids, NAC once again may provide a more favorable environment for the eggs to develop. So NAC can be a valuable addition to consider, especially if you are women over the age of 35 or you might be someone who have endometriosis. Now, finally, we have melatonin. Now, you may know about melatonin as a sleep hormone to help us to get into sleep, but it also has a very powerful antioxidant property that can support reproductive health. So melatonin protects eggs from oxidative stress, which can otherwise lead to DNA damage in cells. Now, this is particularly important because oxidative stress increases as we become older. So impacting both eggs and mitochondrial health, research suggests that melatonin improve the oocyte maturation, fertilization rates, and embryo quality in assisted reproductive treatment, which is IVF. And melatonin may also delay ovarian aging and protect the cells that nourish the egg from oxidative damage. Now, remember, while this supplement shows promising results, there are no one size fits all. Remember to consult with your fertility specialist and dietitian to guide you on the appropriate dosing. Now, let's sum it up. CoQ10 support mitochondrial function, energy production, and might be helpful to help with improving IVF outcome, especially if you have a low ovarian reserve. And secondly, we discussed in this episode the benefits of NAC, which can help to boost glutathione level, which is an antioxidant level in our body, reduces oxidative stress, and support hormonal balance, and might be beneficial for women with endometriosis. Or and lastly, we talk about melatonin, not only regulates sleep, but it does add as an antioxidant to protect the eggs from oxidative stress, which might be helpful in enhancing egg quality and embryo development. Now, if you found today's episode helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with more fertility nutrition insights. And feel free to drop a comment down below if you have any questions for me. And don't forget to also check out our free fertility quiz with instant scoring and action steps to guide you on how to optimize your egg health. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.